Hi, I'm technology journalist Holly Brockwell, and I'm here to talk to you about some research from the full fiber broadband provider Hyperoptic for people like me who are moving house. It turns out it's not just us techies who care about the quality of the broadband where they're moving to. 67% of Brits said they'd be put off a new home if it had rubbish Wi-Fi. And fair enough, really, if you've ever had a download fail in the last 2% like I have, I had to go to anger management classes for two years. Hyperoptic found that two in five of us have actually rejected a home on the basis of bad broadband. I mean, there are other factors we consider as well, like parking, whether it has a garden, not in London, where the nearest pub is, but it turns out that broadband quality really does matter. So why is broadband speed so important? Well, according to the survey, a quarter of us use it for admin things like online banking, 47% of us said we use it to talk to friends and family, a quarter said they work from home, and a third said they use it for online shopping because of course those shoes aren't going to load themselves. The survey also showed that over a quarter of us check the broadband speed where we're moving to before we go, but really only a quarter? I once chose a flat purely on the basis that it had a Pokestop nearby for playing Pokemon Go. Come on! 40% of us said there's not enough information about the broadband speeds in different areas, and that's really important because not all fibre broadband is created equal. Just to recap, fibre optic broadband means that data moves at the speed of light. And does the speed of light slow down during peak times? It does not. Now with some fibre broadband providers, you'll find that the fibre optic cable stops at the cabinet you see on the street, which means that the data zooms at the speed of light all the way to the cabinet and then has to limp the rest of the way on old copper telephone wires. If you don't live near to the cabinet, that can be a real pain in the Netflix. Ideally what you want is something described as fibre to the building or fibre to the premises, like for example, hyperoptic. The research shows that three in five of us would like a really clear, transparent traffic light system to find out how good the broadband is in any particular area, something kind of like an energy performance certificate. So I and other industry professionals are calling on the government to legislate for that, because they talk a good game about Digital Britain, but would they put up with a YouTube video buffering for ages? I don't think so, and I don't think we should either.